Now let's talk a moment about tree canopies. High up in the canopies of old growth trees lies a unique and diverse class of organisms that are only found here. From tropical to temperate forests, you don't find these types of life anywhere else on the planet. At the University of Victoria in British Columbia, Canada, Dr. Neville Winchester, an entomologist or bug biologist, has done specific research in old growth temperate rainforest canopies. His work has helped in public awareness of ancient forests, bringing forth campaigns from the Western Canada Wilderness Committee, which resulted in the protection of the Kamana Valley in 1994. Winchester's doctorate thesis in the early 1990s yielded the discovery of over 70 new species of arthropods, mites, spiders, and insects in the suspended moss soil layers of just five old-growth Sitka spruce trees in the then-endangered Upper Kamana Valley. Now, a professor at the University of Victoria, Winchester is supervising PhD student and mite expert Zoe Lindo, who is embarking on a new comprehensive study in the spectacular ancient western red cedar canopies of Castle Grove in the endangered Upper Walbrand Valley. Because old-growth cedars generally have a pitchfork top, where their large branches curve upwards like giant vertical pointy arms, they form deep pockets of moss and soil in between these arms. These moss pockets can contain soil layers as deep as 50 centimeters thick, even deeper than the soil on the ground. After one field season, Lindo has already made some incredible discoveries. Her preliminary research has yielded 54 species of orbited mites in the canopies of six cedar trees, an estimated one-fourth of which are still undescribed by science. Orobatted mites are a major component of mite fauna in soils, and as they eat dead matter and fungi, they are important in decomposition and nutrient cycles. Nineteen of the 54 species were only found in the canopy and not on the adjacent forest floor suggesting that canopy soils provide a habitat not found on the ground. Why would we care about canopy mites and suspended soil? Mites are one of the most genetically diverse organisms on Earth, with hundreds of thousands of species. They're important in their own right, like all living things, and also as part of the ecosystems in aiding decomposition, in their predation of bacteria and fungi, and as food for many other organisms. What role they play in long-term forest health is currently unknown. In addition, who knows how the suspended soils, their chemistry, and the new species of mites, insects, and bacteria living there could benefit humanity, such as new medicinal treatments or cures for diseases. Unfortunately, the rapid conversion of Vancouver Island's ancient forests into second-growth tree plantations that lack the canopy moss, mats, suspended soils, is undoubtedly exterminating countless species and biological communities even before we know of their existence. This goes without saying that the rest of the world's forests are facing the same issues. By visiting Dr. Winchester's website, you read deeper into this phenomenal research. Understand these important facts and teach others about them. This is exactly what is needed to further protect our planet's giant trees. After all, they're all we've got left.